Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group, part three of our mix tips. We're going to add the Brainworks SSL channel, the E-channel, to the mix and demonstrate how we use it and how that can help you. This song is Long Gone by Moguls of Mayhem, being released soon this August, coming up in a couple weeks. Hope you dig it. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe. We appreciate your support. Here we go, let's dig in. Okay, first things, I'm gonna take the channels that we have prepped already, and I'm going to add the SSL in our third slot. All right, so we have an SSL on every channel. Let's get to work. The 50 and the 8K are great, and the 200 is too on this one. So hopefully if I get it right, they're all going to get louder, but if I get it all right, they'll all work together as a group, we hope. Check out the kicks. It's a pretty good difference there, right? Let's go on to the 808. All right, so let me explain what happened. You notice when I kick this in, it really cleared up the mid-range and the lower mids, even though you saw me boosting certain frequencies, right? The question I get asked a lot is, well, why didn't you cut more mids out of the Pro Q? I find that if you start cutting too many things, it's, the sound starts to lose all its characteristics and fundamentals. So what I usually do is I limit myself to one frequency to cut something that's sort of obnoxious or bothersome at the time, then, as I start adding frequencies, 
it seems to fill out the deficiencies. So in other words, let's say you boosted your highs and your lows. Of course, the mid range is going to appear to be lessened. So that's kind of what's happening here. And you just have to get used to this and you have to keep going and keep trying it as you go. So let's jump over to the snare. Okay, next one. So that one I'm not concerned about the low end because you can see in context that one's for the snap and the crack. So you can hear as I bring it up and down it's, it's really accentuating the snares. Cool. Next one. And the last one. Cool, so here are all the snares. So everything's more hyped and it could be cool. I'm kind of leaning ahead knowing that the guitars are gonna eat up a lot of this space when I go for these, so. Let's go pre-chorus, chorus, and let's work on the rooms.
Okay, so here's all our drums with the SSL, and then I'll shut it down. Okay, so there's the SSL and the drums. Let's move on to the some of these loops and the bass then. So here's the first loop. Idea is to just keep moving and then later we're gonna get everything in and mess around with it a little more. So if you notice here, I have the EQ pre-dynamic. So if I'm overdoing it with any particular EQ band, the compressor is going to tuck it in. So let's check those two together. Nice. So most of these sam these are, some of these samples are pretty good. So I don't have to do very much. Okay, so let's grab a chorus and let's let's listen to that. We're in and out. That's pretty crazy. Let's grab a guitar.
Cool. Let's go back to a verse. I have to check these guys together because they'll have to work together. So no reverb, except it was printed in some of those guitar parts. A couple of bass amps, drums, just drum rooms and samples. So we use the auto line, Sound Radix, FabFilter Pro-Q2, and we use the Brainworks Plugin Alliance SSL channel. Okay, cool. Hope you enjoyed that video. Please hit the like button if you dug it and subscribe. So we can let you know when more content's coming, same things, hit the notification button. We really appreciate your support and stay tuned for the next video, number four. Thanks. Has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete.